Configuration Wizard, Source Configuration. To get to the Source Configuration page, you must first enter the Configuration Wizard. To go into the Configuration Wizard, go to Wizard and select Configuration Wizard. Here, you can name your inputs. You can also configure whether your inputs will be stereo or mono. When the stereo checkbox is checked, two channels will become adjoined or stereo ganged together. Here's what it looks like in your program when two inputs are configured as stereo. As you can see, the two inputs have been adjoined. In the source configuration wizard, you can also select your DSP inserts. The selections are automatic gain control, notch filter, compressor, noise gate, deesser, or advanced feedback suppression. For example, on the ML1 input, I could select a compressor for the first DSP insert. I could then select an AFS, or advanced feedback suppression, as the second input DSP insert for the ML1 input. Now I want automatic gain control for the first DSP insert for the S1 input, so I select that here. Here we see where those input DSP inserts are located in our program. Here's the compressor module I selected for the ML1 input. By default, these modules will be turned off.